I told you you're drinking too much. You don't need to drink every day. I don't drink every day. Oh, come on, John. When's the last time you didn't have a drink? You see what I put up with? You? I hear this nagging on a daily basis. Nagging? Okay, you two. This bickering isn't helping. Doctor, this is Mr. and Mrs. McMillan. I was just asking Mr. McMillan about his chest pain. So, when did the pain start? It was about uh, 15 minutes before I got to the hospital. Can you describe your pain? I got this squeezing right here in the middle of my chest. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your chest pain? A 10. Oh, dear God! Oh, jeez. You really think I'm gonna die, don't you, Doc? In an ER? No. No. My mother had uh, open-heart surgery about seven years ago. She's, uh, uh, she's 72 now. No. No, I don't. Yes, it does. Uh, it, uh, it starts in the middle of my chest, and then uh, to my left shoulder, and then to my jaw. We ate it around uh, 7 o'clock tonight, and I uh, had two cocktails with dinner. No. No, none that I know about. Today is uh, Tuesday. They're just doing their job, honey. No. Airway appears clear. No obstructions. Ooh. Ah. Can you identify that rhythm, Doctor? Exactly what I thought. Normal saline administered, Doctor. Can you believe he was frightened of hospitals? Seems normal. Okay, lab work drawn. What should I administer, Doctor? Medication administered, Doctor. Any idea what that rhythm is? Good call. Now, what medication do you want me to administer? Great choice, Doctor. This is all just happening so fast. I just knew his drinking could lead to something like this. Lungs clear. Which one of these meds does the patient need? Looks like someone paid attention in med school. Nice work, doctor. Pulse is present. Dr. Thompson, please dial extension 7124. Dr. Thompson, extension 7124. I can tell she loves him. Everyone goes through rough times, right? Now, what medication do you want me to administer? Medication administered, doctor. You made the right decision. You know, sometimes you make it look easy. Lungs clear. What should I administer, doctor? Medication administered, doctor. Nice assessment, doctor. Yes, I think he is looking better. This patient's lucky to have you, doctor. Your quick use of nitroglycerin probably saved Mr. McMillan's life. He's stabilized and looks like he's going to be fine. Good work, doctor. It seems pretty cut and dry that Mr. McMillan was experiencing an MI. As you know, your priority in cases like that is to restore blood flow to the occluded artery ASAP in hopes of minimizing tissue damage. Your diagnosis was correct. Excellent work. Top-notch work in obtaining this patient's history. And your treatment of this patient? Outstanding. Possible heart condition at 6114 Bradford Drive. Do you have a cross street? Washington. A 75-year-old male is complaining of dizziness and weakness. Roger, on our way. Hello, sir. How are you feeling? Oh, I felt better. What's your name? Harold Witzel. Can you tell me why you called us today, Mr. Witzel? Well, I was changing clothes and I got dizzy. Dizzy and weak. How do you feel now? My legs feel like jello. I was getting ready for a doctor's appointment. What's the visit for? Just a checkup. I got a bad ticker. All right, is there uh, any kind of medical conditions or surgeries we should know about? Where do you want me to start? I had an abdominal aneurysm about eight years ago and two heart attacks. Hmm, and when was your last heart attack? About four months ago. They inserted three stents. Anything else? COPD. I've been chewing on the cancer sticks for some 40 years or so. Yes, yeah, the penicillin. Ever since I was a kid. 
Not really. Thursday, isn't it? Yes, it is. Of course, my bedroom. No. Around six this morning. I had my usual a bagel and a cup of coffee. It's better when I'm lying down. When I sit up, things start to spin around. Oh, yes. Atron, nitroglycerin, Xanax, Lasix, um, Lenoxin, and Chlorcon. I was feeling more tired than usual the past few days, but today's when I started to feel dizzy. Well, according to what Mr. Witzel said, he's got a history of heart problems. My legs went all wobbly and everything went dizzy. Time to set the flow rate. Hmm, complaining of dizziness and fatigue. I know, I should have quit smoking years ago. What do you think that rhythm is? You're a trooper, Mr. Witzel. Do you think I'm gonna be all right? Keep it going, you're in the groove. He's losing consciousness, so which one of these should we give the patient? Good choice. We're here for you, sir. Pulse is going up. Time to get this patient in the ambulance. Okay, which one of these should I administer? I'm liking what I'm seeing. I've seen my share of doctors, so I know a good one when I see one. What did I say, Mr. Wetzel? You'll be up and around in no time. I think I do feel a little better now. Well, I guess I owe you my life. Not very good at times like this. Thank you. Mr. Witzel was typical of patients with bradycardia. Most patients don't become symptomatic until their heart rate drops below 50 beats per minute. Well, I see we're in agreement about this patient's diagnosis. Top-notch work in obtaining this patient's history. This patient was in good hands with you. Your treatment was first-rate. 